Praise God, hey? Praise God, you know, it's not so cold today. Praise God. You know, we had the topic this month is give your attention to the sovereign Lord. And the scriptures read from 1 Thessalonians 4, verse 13 to 17. You know, Paul's spirit of advice to believers in Thessalonians church is that they should not be ignorant regarding the fulfillment of God's word. Should not be ignorant. Should not lack the knowledge, should not the understanding. Don't be uneducated. God's word is truth and life. And you know, when we accept Jesus Christ into our life, we're entering into that internal hope and that promise that Jesus Christ will come again. Jesus Christ will come again. The word of God says that he will come again. Don't say it might happen. It will happen. And it comes with internal mouth of God and his truth. And you know, yes, we have sorrow for the passing of our loved ones. And the pain is real. And it does penetrate the very foundation of our being. But we who know Jesus Christ and accept him, know that our faith is rooted in Jesus Christ, who is the first fruit of the resurrected internal life. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. We give our attention to Jesus Christ, who is risen and is with us. And 1 Corinthians 15 tells us, But now is Christ risen from the dead, making the first fruits of them that are slept. And by the supernatural power of Jesus rising in our leads and directors into his comfort. And that's why Paul says to us in Thessalonians 4, Verse 13, we do not sorrow as others who have no hope. We do not sorrow those who have no hope. In the book of John chapter 20, we call Mary being at the tomb of Jesus. And she's weeping, she's in a state of mourning. But then Jesus calls her name. And suddenly our eyes were open to recognize it was Jesus. I knew that Jesus is alive. You know, in that moment, Mary the mourner became Mary the evangelist. Mary the mourner became the evangelist. Attention was focused on Jesus, that he was alive. And Jesus says, well, do not touch me yet. I might have said it unto my father. But go to my brethren and say to them, I ascend unto my Father and your Father, my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she has seen the Lord and he has spoken these words unto her. And just as Jesus called Mary's name, is Jesus calling your name today? Are you in a place of loss, of mourning, of disillusionment? Where's your attention right now? Turn to Jesus, focus on Jesus. You know, Jesus instructed Mary to do something specific. And Mary must have been paying attention to the words that Jesus spoke unto her. She paid the attention and went directly in the front of the disciples that Jesus had risen and spoken to her. And let me say this, you know when we pay attention to the Lord, we must act directly to the obedience of his will. When we pay full attention to the Lord, we must act in obedience to his word. You know, God has told us and called us to go and preach the word, to preach the gospel. People's eternal salvation is dependent on it. The eternal salvation is at risk if we do not 
a bed. Just as Mary went and told the disciples, we'll be called and told to go and preach the word. Our attention, our focus must be on the word of God. And just like Mary at that too, sorrowing in a place of grief and loss, but then our eyes were turned unto Jesus. In our church we say, turn your eyes upon Jesus. Look full upon his wonderful face and the things of this earth will go strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. Turn your attention to my Lord. Turn your attention to Jesus. Wherever you are today, whatever you're facing, whatever your circumstances, turn to Jesus. You know, Isaiah 41 says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed. I am thy God, and I will strengthen thee. Yea, I will help thee. I will oppose thee with the right hand of my righteousness. God is with you. Turn your attention to sovereign God. You know, if we truly believe that Jesus died and rose again, the word of God tells us that Jesus will bring with him those who are slain. Jesus will bring with him those who are slain. You know, the terms you use by Paul say those who are asleep. And when we faithfully understand the word of God, there's a promise that, that one day there shall be a supernatural awakening. There shall be a supernatural awakening when we pay attention to the word of God. So the question I pose to you today, how much attention are you paying to, the, to God? Especially with the impending return of Jesus Christ. You know, the world tells us we don't know the minute nor the hour. We do not know. And now during this week, we've seen the devastating consequences and events in Turkey and Syria. Does it really take something so dramatic as an earthquake? to draw people's attention to God. There's people in their beds and then suddenly the whole building is turned to rubble. We do not know the minute nor the hour. Where is your attention right now? And the truth is, every day, God is calling directing us to pay attention to Him. Are you paying attention? Are you truly paying attention? Are you listening to the Holy Spirit as He whispers to you? Do this. Go this way. It's time for you to put that away. I want you to visit this person. I want you to pray for that person. Are you listening and focusing? Is your attention on God? What are the things that are drawing you away from God? Are the things you know that are drawing you away from God? Drawing your attention away from the God? If the answer is yes, what are you going to do about it? Today is a day when you can make that change, refocus, bring your attention, bring your desires back to God. And the book of Hebrews says, you know, let us lay aside the weight and the sin that so easily besets us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us. <coughs> And then the message presented in Paul to the Thessalonians is a message of hope. Because it brings into the alignment that the impending return of Jesus Christ. It said, The Lord himself shall descend from 
heaven with a shout. With a shout. And with the voice of an archangel and the trump of God. Jesus Christ is coming again. We can see the signs and the times. Where is your attention? Is your attention on the sovereign Lord? What things are preventing you from placing your attention unto the Lord? What things is the Lord calling you to and calling you from? When we give our attention to the Sovereign Lord, we are compelled by His Spirit to proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord and that He is coming back again. <coughs> Don't be distracted from that truth. Don't let the circumstances that we see in the world today distract you from the truth. Many people will be questioning, if there's a God, why does it allow this to happen? Why does it allow that to happen? Let us not be dissuaded. <coughs> the word of God is truth. Let us focus our attention in a time like this, where we see so much suffering, so much devastation. Let us keep our attention, attention unto the Sovereign Lord and through his eternal word that Jesus Christ is coming back again. Where is your heart right now? Where do you stand right now? For those of us, for those who do not know Jesus Christ as Lord and Saviour, if Jesus had come right now, where would you stand? If Jesus came right now, where would you stand? Let us give our attention to Sovereign Lord. He is speaking to each and every one of us to follow him. Jesus Christ is coming back again. Let us pay attention to the suffering Lord as he speaks and he